If y'all see my face, y'all already know what's going on as promised in the video before. I said I was going to be making a video using each one of the new Juvia's Place mini palettes. This is the first one. I'm using the Violets palette. So, um, I, th I think I may make that a thing. I'm not sure. That when I when I do these videos, I'm going to try to use every color in the palette just to see. Just so you can see how they all show. Yeah. That could be fun. That can be fun. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Sounds fun. Sounds like a challenge. Let's do it. So, um, I'm gonna show y'all how I got this look. We'll start as off. always by concealing my face. Also, you know this box back here is it's just a box of makeup. Nothing big. Just so, we're gonna conceal the eyes. I go right in with a bit fluffy brush and this lavender color right here. This brush looks dirty, but it's just stained. I have washed this brush like seven times. It's not coming out. I gave up. But yeah, it um, I'm using this color right here. And because this is not a skin tone color, I'm not going to take it all the way to the eyebrow. I'm going to leave about maybe like pinky width from my eyebrow. I'm going to later use a brown out of this matte book palette to soften the edges and um, just make the look, just make it look more cohesive. Let's get started with this lavender. Okay, so... You want to keep this salt kind of soft and blown out looking, so you're going to blend it a lot. So after that color, you're going to come in with this dark purple, and you're going, but you're to, going to be using a tapered blending brush after um, this to apply this dark purple color. You're going to go almost as high as you did with the lavender, but not quite, and you're going to bring it all the way down into your actual crease. And I do bring it like all the way down. I bring it like all the way in. Now if it looks too bold and it looks like a disaster, it's okay. You're going to go right in over the top of it with the lavender color again and soften the edges. If anybody is wondering, this is my favorite brush to use to uh, conceal things like my eyebrows with. And I do a lot of cutting and cleaning with this brush. And it ain't even a makeup brush. It's a paint brush. It came out of $4 set at Walmart. But it's so bomb. I love it so much. And I have to buy a whole nother set just to get another one. I'm back. Y'all not gonna believe what happened to me. So, um, I had done this eye. It was done. I finished it. But my camera stopped recording. So, I wiped it, I wiped it off and wiped everything back out for y'all to the point I was. It's still a little still ball around here. But I'm gonna show y'all how I got that because I still got some touch-ups to do. Crease brush. And this purple color right here. And we're gonna go right along the edge of the concealer. After that, same dark color, same brush. You're just going to tap into your lid about to here. So, it should like pull out more. Okay. Okay, so next color we're going to end with is this color right here. And we're going to blend it into this dark purple. So, let it go. that next we're going in with this shimmery lilac color um and we're just gonna finish the lid off with it okay y'all uh, so 
Now I'm gonna take just a little bit of concealer, like a little dot, just a little dot, and we're gonna dip the end of the brush into it. And we just gonna poke ourselves right there. Boop. Then I'm gonna go in with this color right here, and that's the color I'm gonna use to highlight my inner corner. Okay, y'all, so that's that. And I know what you should be saying if you ain't saying it, but girl, you said you was gonna use the whole palette. It's a whole color there you ain't use. Well, it's a reason for that. Chill out, chill out, calm down. It's because I'm going to use it on the bottom after I do the rest of my face. So, I'm going to go bump out the rest of my face. Okay, y'all. So, I'm back. And I put concealer, like, right up under my eyes. And we're going to go in and we're going to use this color. Yay! The last color in the palette. I told you guys we use it all the colors. And we're going to do it from the inner corner all the way to about halfway down my um lash line. I'm going to go in with this dark purple and I'm going to finish out my bottom lash line. Okay, guys, so after that, I'm just going to add mascara and we'll be done. Okay, you guys, so boom, there you go. This is my look. For the Juvia's Place. Okay, you guys. So, there you go. This is my look for the Juvia's Place. The Valets palette. And, um. I'm loving it. I've always liked purple eyeshadows on my skin color. So, this one, when I saw it, this is the one I got the most excited about. And then the berries. But I loved all of them. And I had to have all of them. So, y'all already know. And, um, yeah. That's really it. Um, which I think y'all like it. I like it. Okay, you guys. That's all for now. I'm KJ. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. And I mean share, share, share. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another video because there will be three more at least like this. Maybe more, but at least three because I got three more palettes to do. So yeah, that's really all you guys. I'm out. Hi.